Welcome back to my channel, Mathematics, really interesting challenge today, 4 plus 4 divided by 4 minus 4. Maybe this is challenge you've ever seen, addition, division, subtraction, so nothing hard, we don't have parentheses, powers, we don't have square roots, and we have only like regular expression without any difficulties right here, we don't have any parentheses, powers, exponent, we have a regular expression. But what is the correct answer? Because a lot of students make this common mistake, a lot of students solve this question absolutely wrong, so right now I suggest you do pause the video, try to solve it by yourself, what do you think is the correct answer to this challenge? And of course, in 30 seconds, we will check the answer. It will be really interesting to check the answers here because this is a very tricky challenge and I give maybe 99% that you solve this question absolutely wrong. Okay, let's rewrite our challenge right here. So we have 4, yeah, we have 4 plus 4 divided by 4 and minus 4. Okay, one part of students solve this question like that. They go from left to right. Right here we have 4 plus 4 which gives us, which gives us 8 and we rewrite this expression once more. So we have divided by 4 minus 4, so once more from left to right, 8 divided by 4, which gives us which gives us 2, and 2 minus 4, which gives us, right here we have minus 4, minus 2, sorry, yeah, this is option, this is option A. One part of students solve this question like that, this looks like our first, first interpretation, and of course I want to show you the second interpretation, for example, another part of students solve this question in a different way, take a look closely right here, we have 4 plus 4, divided by 4 minus 4. Another part of students add right here 4 plus 4 which gives us 8 and right here we have subtraction 4 minus 4 which gives us which gives us 0. Somehow they divided 8 divided by by 0 and someone don't know how can we divide it. Another part of students tell that correct answer is is 0. So we have option B. So as you can see the second interpretation. So what, another part of students solve this question like that. But I want to show you the third interpretation because in math we can't solve our challenges randomly. It's really bad thing in terms of math because we do should know about a correct order of operation. For example, let's look at this PMDMC order of operation. This is the most popular order of operation in the world. All internet libraries, scientific, graphing calculator works according to this PMDMC. And few words about this PMDMC. This is uh, order of operation which works from the top to the bottom, so in a strict order from the top to the bottom. So the highest priority parentheses, then we should evaluate exponent, then we should evaluate multiplication division group, and finally addition subtraction group, okay? So parentheses has the highest priority, and addition subtraction the lowest. So right now in this third interpretation let's solve this question according to this PMDMC. So third interpretation we have our challenge so 4 plus 4 divided by 4 minus 4. Okay here's our challenge yeah we have 4 minus minus 4. Right now Take a look closely what do we have in our challenge. We have addition, division, and subtraction. Let's look at it. So addition, division, subtraction. First of all, I want to mention that division is all the time before addition and subtraction. Yeah? So division is all the time before addition and subtraction, so we can easily divide at first. This is a correct uh, order of operation, okay? Because uh, division is before addition and subtraction. We can't start with this addition. So we should divide at first right here in the middle, okay? So we have 4 plus 4 divided by 4 gives us 1, and we have minus minus 4. And right now, generally, we don't need our order of operation because this is very basic, a very basic addition, very basic subtraction. We can easily find our answer, which gives us 1. Option, option C. And really interesting moment right here because we have three interpretation. One part of student choose this option A, another part of student choose option B, another part of student choose option C. And what is the correct answer to this challenge? Of course, the correct answer is uh, it's option C because we solved it according to a correct order of operation. What about this solution right here? Take a look closely about this solution. This is a very bad solution because as I told before, addition, division, subtraction, this is a very bad order of operation. We should divide it first, then addition, subtraction. Moreover, if we put parentheses, this is okay solution because then parentheses is um, has the highest priority. So then addition will have the higher priority than division. So we should add at first, okay? And then of course it, this is a correct solution, but with uh, with parentheses. In our case, we don't have parentheses, so we we just forget about this option A, which is really bad. What about this option uh, option B? This is a very bad solution also because we right here we have addition, subtraction, division, which is really bad order in terms of mass. With parentheses, this is a great solution, but we don't have parentheses, so we should we should reject this option B, which is really bad. And moreover, we right here we have A divided by zero, which is undefined, and of course it. it turns into a big argument, uh, students arguing about this solution, and of course, forget about this solution, this is a really bad solution in terms of math. 
This is a correct solution because we solve it according to a correct order of operation, addition, uh, division first, then addition, subtraction in a strict order from left to right. So the correct answer to our challenge is option option C. I hope your answer is the same as mine, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. It happens sometimes that you forget about this solution, that you forget about order of operation, and I hope you will get better at this through practice. It's obvious for us. So thank you for your time, see you in the next videos, and have a great day!